a woman will come up to me and say, oh, I love your shoes. Where'd you get them at? Oh, that's a nice skirt. If a man comes up to me, he, you know, he just says, I, I can't believe you can walk in those things without breaking your ankles or something. I hope I'm, I'm opening some, some people's mindsets that clothing should not have a gender. Um, you know, I, I'm a straight guy that, that, you know, just wears a skirt and high heels. It doesn't change my sexual orientation. I've always enjoyed wearing high heels off and on. The first time I wore high heels was 40 years ago when I was in college. Um, and in the 40 years, you know, I'd go through spurts where I wouldn't wear high heels for maybe 10 years or so. My boss came up to me and said, hey, everyone's talking about you wearing high heels. What's the deal? You know, and I said, no, I just decided that's just what I wanted to do. And, and after doing that for a while, uh, you know, you know, we're, we're, we just kind of joke around and say, yeah, one of these days Mark's going to show up in a skirt or something. And I said, yeah, maybe I will. And uh, a couple of months later, I did. I wanted to make sure, first of all, I took a picture to make sure what I was wearing looked good. And then also it was also to document what I was wearing so I wouldn't repeat myself. Uh, you know, if you got you know, multiple pair of different colors of shoes other than brown and black. You have blues and reds and whites and beige and nude colored and uh, different shades of blue and, and stuff. So, and then with all the different skirt combinations, I didn't want to wear the same thing, you know, quite, you know, maybe once a month would be enough repetition for me, but uh, I just wanted to document that I didn't get stuck wearing the same thing over and over again and, and get myself back in the same rut where I was when I was wearing men's clothes. But I wanted to maintain some uh, musculinity, and so that's why I decided I'll, ju I'll just wear the skirts and heels below and wear my men's normal men's clothes, you know, you know, on top. So, so I, you know, I call it kind of like a hybrid system. I kind of focus myself off of Rachel on, with the paralegal, the paralegal at the office, because she'd always wear the skirts with the white blouse and the shoes and stuff. So that was kind of like my my go-to fashion type thing and that's kind of the look i wanted to look at not I, I think i've done a pretty good job of of doing that if people want to get online and start saying negative things about someone you know by writing standing behind a keyboard or, or a monitor you know that just shows me the kind of character that they have they just want to attack people i've had a lot of men Say you know, hey, I, we I love what you're doing. You're you're opening people's eyes. Keep doing what you're doing. You you've made me want to go out and and wear my skirts where I was always afraid to do it, or or wear women's clothes because I was always afraid to do it. I've had women uh, that will say the exact same thing. Really had never had any any problems uh, in public. If I go to like a train station or airport or something, you know, I, I don't I don't avoid eye contact. In fact, I you know look at people because I want to see their reactions. But uh, most men will look at me and then you know did kind of look away and, and and pretend like they didn't make eye contact or something. Uh, women will actually make eye contact and, and give a smile. Basically, uh, you know, sometimes I'll get a wink or or a thumbs up or something like this. So. Um, you know, definitely the women, I think, are more accepting. Maybe the men accept it. They just don't, don't want to acknowledge it. My daughter, uh, she's always wanting to borrow my shoes. So, but, but she, lives, she lives in Texas, so, uh, and, and I don't think we have the same size foot either. But, but she's always commenting. Uh, hey, Dad, I want to borrow your shoes.
I think I'm also helping people to uh, feel more comfortable with themselves when, when, because they are, they are able to wear what they want to wear. And I think if that happens and more and more people's that they're going out because it, because of me making them feel more comfortable, I think more and more people are going to get used to it. And then it kind of opens up everybody's mindset 